Another way to generate random numbers in Java is to use the math function, the math class. So if we use a math class, we don't really have to import anything. We can just say math.random. That's a method built into the math class. And this on its own gives us a number between zero and one but it's not inclusive of one. So we could say something like zero where it's equal to zero, but not equal to one. So it's a fractional, fractional number. So how would we use this to create an integer? So what we could do is we, we have an integer called num and we wanna set it equal to math at random, which is zero to one, not inclusive. If we multiply it by six, let's say we want to do a number between um, one and six. So we could multiply by six. That would at the moment give us a range of zero, right? If this part were zero, zero times six is still zero. And at the biggest, it would be less than six because this could be 0 0.99999 times six, but it's not gonna quite reach six. Now, if we want integers, because those are still real numbers, all we need to do is cast it to an int, put int there and we want to be careful to put brackets around this whole thing. Otherwise, it's just casting this, which would always result in a zero. So at the moment, this could possibly generate the numbers zero, uh, it could be a one, a two, a three, a four, or a five because every time it's casting it to an integer. So if it generated 1.6 for some reason, then when you cast it to an int, it would just become one. If it was 0 0.99 times six, it would be 5.99, and that gets rounded down to an integer, which would be five. So, if we want to shift it up, just like before, we could simply add one to the end here, plus one. Now all our numbers go up. So we no longer have a zero possible because zero when you add one becomes one, but the five would now become, at the highest, become a six. So that's our new range of numbers that has integers. So the advantage of this, again, is you don't have to import anything. You can just use the built-in math class some find this a little bit more confusing, uh, so you're welcome to use whatever method you uh, understand better. So if random class makes more sense, use that one. If uh, using the math class's random method makes more sense, then you should use that one.